Hey guys, it's been about seven months since uh, my activation of my processor and I wanted to give you all an update on how I am doing. Now let's rewind here. Uh, three weeks after um, my surgery, they decided to do a hearing test and it showed that I kept a lot of my residual hearing. Uh, not all of it, just quite a bit. And what they decided to do was they decided to attach the hybrid component to the processor. Now, this isn't like a half hearing aid and half uh, processor. This is 5% hearing aid and 95% processor. The only thing this little guy does is add some bass. It adds some depth to all of the sound. So, yeah, I, I have enough hearing left to hear some bass, so that actually helps out the cause here and amplifies that. The rest of it, it's all electrodes going into my cochlear and just transmitting to my brain. Now, um, I just had my six month evaluation a few weeks ago and um, it was pretty good. It's 95%, I scored a 95% with AZ biosentences in a quiet room. That's just with my right implanted ear alone. Uh, so I'm pretty happy where I am right now. The audiologists are way happy. And um, with that said, we're gonna check out all the gadgets now that came with this. And uh, it's unbelievable. My life has changed for the better, so let's check it out. Okay guys, here we are. We have all of the gadgets here. And uh, before I get into that, I wanted to tell you about my left ear really quick. Um, I scrapped my old hearing aid and uh, got a resound hearing aid. Now, Cochlear and Resound partner together to give people like me a better sound experience. So this hearing aid is actually able to uh, Bluetooth in with my implanted ear for music and phone calls and everything else, which is pretty awesome. So it's stereo sound. So, all right, let's get into it. Now, when I got activated, um, I got a backpack from Cochlear. You can see their emblem right here. It's a pretty awesome bag, actually. Um, I use it for traveling and everything. It's pretty awesome. And uh, inside that bag was all of this stuff. Now it's all unboxed, obviously, I'm using it. But let's start down the line here. We have um, this thing. This is pretty cool. I've never had one of these before. This is a dry box. Um, so just say if I'm at the gym, I'm working out, or a very hot and humid day like this, <laughs> most of the summer so far, um, you know, you're not really supposed to get a lot of moisture in your hearing aids or your hearing devices. So at the end of the day, I put them in the dry box, shut it, turn it on, and then the next morning, everything is fine again. So that's pretty awesome. Now I have this pretty cool, like, hard case. I take this with me everywhere I go. It's like a little organizer. I have lots of things in here that I need, tools and gadgets and, um, even a spare processor. Yeah, when you get activated with Cochlear, you get a backup. A processor just in case the other one goes bad or needs to get fixed or whatever so that's pretty awesome now I'm gonna leave this out here because we're gonna be talking about that a little bit more in a second all right and then we have this uh, cool USB charger um, with a spare battery so I can uh, actually charge one at work or whatever so I don't have to worry about my battery dying a little remote control I use this on occasion, but the cool thing is with this new technology, it's all done through your cell phone, uh, which is pretty sweet. So all I have to do is take out my cell phone and turn up the volume or do whatever I need to do. Um, all right, the phone clip. Now, uh, the N7, the Nucleus N7 was made for the iPhone, which kind of bypasses this little gadget here. You don't need it. But um, at the time, I had an Android device and I had no plans on getting an iPhone, so um, I decided to get this. So it's, it's, pretty, it's a pretty good thing to have, even, even if you have an iPhone, I, I kind of like this. It's a nice backup thing just in case something happens. And um, we have the mini mic. This is my saving grace. I use this at work. I use this uh, with my partner because he doesn't talk very loud. Um, the other person, not me, clips it to their shirt and they talk into it. And uh, it goes right to both of my ears and um, yeah, I can hear pretty well. So 
love that with conversations when I'm out with friends. Sometimes I actually just put it on the table and clip it to something like a, um, a napkin holder at the center of the table and I can hear everybody's conversation around the table even with all of the background noise going on. So I kind of like that. All right, this is my favorite, favorite feature. Um, the Aqua Kid. Are you ready for this? My entire life with hearing aids, through my 20s and 30s, I had to take my hearing aids out to go swimming because they weren't waterproof. And you can imagine the awkward situations that arose with that. I mean, a guy in his 20s wanting to, you know, go out and have fun with his friends at a pool and he can't hear. Yeah, well, now we have this. Um, this is the Aqua Kit. I put my processor into this and um, I can go underwater, I can swim, and I can come back up and chat with friends and not have a problem, which is pretty sweet. Now, if you notice on here, I have the hybrid device. So the hybrid part is not going to work with this. What I decided to do was, and my audiologist was okay with it, I am using my backup processor for this aqua kit without the hybrid component. Now remember, the hybrid component only gives me a 5% boost in bass. So, I mean, it's I can hear speech regardless if I have it on or not. So this is perfect. So I put that in, the battery goes on the back of that, and there we go. We have my aqua kit being used with my spare processor without the hybrid component. Uh, so I'm kind of happy with that. It's great. I went on a couple of vacations already, and my, my, my socialization skills have come back from what they used to be from back in college, so I'm kind of really excited about that. Um, yeah, I, I think that's everything, and uh, I'm just happy where I am right now, and my favorite thing to do these days is just to sit outside and listen to birds. It's like a high-frequency symphony that I've forgotten about the past, like, 15 years, so, uh, yeah, things are awesome, and uh, I hope this informed you on everything, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.